All right, folks. How's it going? So today we're going to be doing my first ever how to carve a wood spirit video. And we're going to be using the cut saw bars. And this here we selection of bars is all you're going to need to do it. Use the cut saw bar. This is the cut saw one eighth extreme flame bar. You can find the link in the description below. You can, if you are interested in getting these, and you can use the code I can carve, save yourself five percent. This here is the first bar we're going to use. This is the easiest one for bulk removal. And today I'm going to do a wee high to carve a wood spirit. And this is the only burrs we're going to need. The cut saw. You need a metal working burr just to stick the beard hairs in. That's pretty good. Small diamond tip bit. Just to sand it up and stuff at the end. Smooth it out. And then this here we small. Uh, it's a needle burr. Diamond tip burr. And you use that there for putting the undercuts and stuff in. Small details. I'm going to show you how easy it is to carve a wood spirit. It's as easy as ABC. You'll see there. If you go to the description, you'll find the, the link to the cuts all. And, you'll, and when you get there, if you're buying anything, just use the code I can carve. And you'll save yourself 5%. So what we're going to do today is... Carve a wood spirit, and I'm going to show you how it's as easy as ABC. And what we want to start with is the A. You do an A like this, and you do your B here, and then do your C here, and that's all we need to start a wood spirit. So let's go. I'm going to get a wee bit of wood and we'll draw on our ABC. So we'll put the A here and the B. And then the C. And then what we'll do is put the wee cuts all bar in and I'll show you is where we're going to do our first cuts. I'll show you on the page here where we'll cut first and how to do it. So, let's go. Okay, so we'll have the cuts all on. And now what we want to do is, on the A here, down this part is where we're going to do our first cut. Right down the outside of that A. And you want to do it to the same depth as the cuts all bit. So let's go. The bar in the corner, just run down the side of that, eh? Put it the deep of the bar, deep. And then what we do is run down the other side of the eye. You can see how easy they cut. And we're going to cut underneath that, eh? There we go. So we've got the A done now. These here are the same depth as the cut saw bar. You see how wide that is? Well, that's how deep I'll carve for the first cut. And what we'll do next is come into the the B, but we'll start with the, the point and put it into the corner and just pull it out and then fade this B right out. Same with that side. Let's go. Okay, so now we've got this done, 
what we'll do next is we're going to go on till the sea and the sea you want to cut around here and then just take this bit away at the back of the sea and we'll have this cut now and we've got this cut okay let's keep her going Just cut right around this sea. I cut the back bit the same deep as the bear. There we go. Okay. So now we have this done, it should be looking something like this. Right, and the next thing we want to do, under this A, just do this. Do another A. Okay. And let's cut this A out. From the side of the nose, just come down, draw a line down, and this line here you can bring it out, bring this line out, and just draw down the side. That's where we're going to cut next. along the top of the head here. And lower the back of it. Get it away. Should have something that's looking like this, and what we're going to do next is just carve this wee bit of the nose just till the halfway mark from here, slope that down till it's level with the bottom. Take the middle of the eyebrows out. Lab over the nose. And blend it into the head. There we go. So now we're left with this. What I want to do now is put a wee hole in the middle here. Okay. 
So now we should have something that looks like this. And what you want to do next is, when you get your cut saw bar, you just touch the side of here with a cut saw, and the side of here, and just lower it down a wee bit. Very gently. What do you do is round this over. There we go. Okay. Side of this cheek. should have something that looks like this and the next thing you want to do is change over your burr and start to put in some details but first what we can do is this bit here under the chin just lower this down so that it's level with the same height you have in the middle Change this bar over. And you've all seen how easy that cuts all cut that in. That's not even 10 minutes. I'm of the basic shape now cut in for the wood spirit. Alright, what we'll do next is put on this wee the nail cutting bar. I call it a nail because it looks like a nail or like a needle. Put this one on. And what we're going to do now, got a smaller pen here. And the pen's up. What you want to do now is use the wee small bar and see along here. Just do a cut there and a cut there. And we're going to cut in the back half at the top of the head. Put a cut down the side and bring it in halfway where the moustache is. So bring that line down to halfway. Bring that line down to halfway. And what we'll do is under the mouth, we'll do a wee cut here for to put in the lip. And you want to undercut this and undercut this, both sides. And we're going to undercut under the nose. Okay. And I'll just be done using this with the needle diamond tip. Now let's go. Right. 
Now we've got that done. Oh, forgot about the nose. Let's stay under the nose. Okay, we can push that star up and make a nostril. Alright, it's looking like that now. And what we'll do next is change this wee needle bar. And we'll change it till the metal cutting bar. Alright, that's this one. I'll tighten it up. Okay, what we're going to do now is run down the outside of the moustache and the inside of the moustache and then down here, the outside. Just for now, and what we'll do is do a couple of wee ticks on the eyebrow, and a couple of ticks on this eyebrow. Don't worry about down here, we'll do this in a minute. Do a couple in the middle, a couple here. You can cut this a wee bit deeper. Just do one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. There we go. I do the eyebrows. Okay. Now I've got that done, what we'll do next is, under this bit here, imagine his chin comes round here, so we're just going to do a couple of lines here, and off the side of his face here too, a couple of wee lines out, just the underneath the cheeks. Let's go. Right, now we've got this done, what you want to do is, you don't have to do this, but we can anyway. From the top of the top left side of the head, draw another wee half circle round. And just bring it round to here. And what we'll do is, we'll use the metal cutting bar. And all we're going to do is make this look like it's her in here. All the way down till the, the join in the head. Okay. Now we 
should have some that's looking like this. And what you want to do next is change the metal cutting bar over till the diamond tip. This one. I'm just going to use this to put in some basic details here. Give it a slight wee. You'll see here what we're going to do, right? So, next we're going to go with a wee diamond tip and the back end of that line that you made on the top of the head. You just want to fade this from here and make the back end of the line lower and keep this about the same height. We'll do that cut first. Get this going down to me. The next cut we'll do is inside the eye, halfway to the cheek, just halfway down to the cheek from that line you made to halfway down to the cheek. I want to cut that away. Same deep as the bar, should be okay. should have the eyes in it. What we're going to do next is just from the corner of the nose under that cheek into this wee corner it's a wee triangle in there just put the diamond tip into the corner here starting it just here on the nose level with the cheek level with the cheek and it's only this wee corner we're going to do with a diamond tip down into that corner and that corner do next is take the wee diamond tip and just smooth out between the nose be very gentle and just round the nose over that's all you're just really sanding this now with a diamond tip and level with the top of the eyebrows bring in your cut from the head and just run over this with a diamond tip and the two cheeks okay Round 
Yes, Angela. Okay. Now we're almost done. It's just a wee basic wood spirit. What we want to do now is see in the side these lines, the first lines we cut that run down the side. Just run into them with a diamond tip. Just take it straight down in. You can imagine the line comes around like the head, obviously. Just run over this line, run over this line, back down halfway with the moustache. So we're going to go from here, down into here. In fact, we can just come to halfway under the cheek because the beard hair comes out. Come from the head to halfway down. And we'll cut them in. That's almost done. Something like that now. See, see the lip. Just move the lip out. Right. This is what we're looking like now. Right, so now we've got all this done, what we'll do next is change back on till the wee needle burr. We're going to work back up the burrs here and finish it off. So we'll take this off. This wee small diamond tip. Pop it in. What we're going to do now is cut inside the eye here and here and you want to cut it in at an angle just put the burr down in do a nice cut and then cut up in under it at that angle do a straight cut and then cut in I'll show you straight There we go. Just be careful because these wee needle bits break very easy. Right, and what we'll do next is put the cuts all back on and we'll finish it off. So we'll get the cuts off. One eight. You can find the link in the description below. Use the code I can carve. Save yourself 5% folks. You can see how easy it is to get carving in wood. We'll pop this in. And now what we're going to do is just really make the the hair and the beard sort of over prominent now. So we're just going to cut right in here with a cut saw. Every so often. doesn't have to be on every one of them strokes. A couple of cuts in here and a couple of cuts in here. Same again out the side. And this is the one eighth flame bar, the extreme one. So let's go.
should have them looking something like this. And now all we're going to do is put the metal cutting bar on. And we'll run over these herds here just to define them a bit. basic wood spear. It's carved very easy. That's why I say it's as easy as ABC. What you can't do now is while well, you have the metal cutting bar on these wee bits here at the side of the head you could lower that down and lower this down and just fade it out just okay Simple wood spear. And what you can do yourself is, if you want, you just get a wee drop of paint. Or if you have just a sharpie, even, put it in the eyes. That's not big enough. And you can do it in the mouth because you. Use a bit of paint to do it. 
And I'll use the other one here. Just do that if you use paint inside the eyes there. That's all. It doesn't mean you have to do no eyes in them, so it means you can do no eyes. And it just darkens it up. There we go. And the very last thing you can do if you want to is just give it a wee gentle sanding. Right on, clean that wee bit of paint off it. need to do basically is just if you have a sander I use these here that's a 220 grip one you can buy them online everywhere and I have these 80 grit wee mini flap sander either one of them you can use just to clean it up a bit take the fuzzies off it and we'll see how it looks I'll just give it a very quick run over with this, mostly the beard hairs and stuff. Under the nose of these up. Not necessary, like. Here we go. So that is a basic high two deer wood spirit. Hopefully that's helped a couple of you. And like I say, it's just really basic. I haven't tried to do any real major details. Just gets to show you how you can get the cuts and the shape and the beard and stuff. And the next video we'll do a real detailed one. I'll put the eyes in it and show you how to make something more sort of as detailed as this. So, it's all good. Hopefully that does help you folks. Like I say, if you're interested in getting them cut soles, because I know a lot of people ask me about them, you can just check a link in the description below. Save yourself 5%. They do loads of different burrs from really, really fine removers to this here's the extreme one. They have them in several different sizes. You can get it in a quarter inch if you use a die grinder. And you can also buy the, the discs that go onto your angle grinder. But that's cut saws what you're looking for if you want to get stuff moved quickly. That's pretty much it folks. All you need to do now is you can finish that off. If you have stain, stain it up. Sand it and you're good to go. Or if you have any clear lacquer. You can just get the clear lacquer. Give it a wee squirt. There we go. And you got yourself a wood spirit. Pretty simple. So hopefully that's helped some of you. And I look forward to doing a more detailed one. This is just basic for beginners. And that shows you roughly how to do a wood spirit. Uh, hopefully that's helped a few people. Uh, it was good getting to show you how I do wood spirits.
Like I said, really it's a basic one. It's not too detailed. But if there's people out there, obviously some people never done a wood spirit. That's basically my advice on how to get a quick spirit into a piece of wood. And 100% recommend getting the cuts off because it just makes it so much more easy. So, thanks again folks. Thank you for watching. Hopefully that's helped anybody out. And if you just need any more info on the cuts off bars, just drop me a link. Or you can private message me on Instagram. You'll get me quicker. But all good folks. Happy carving. Keep on keeping on them folks. See you all later.